Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a deep clean of my kitchen as well as some organization. And this video is going to be a collaboration with Ali Gooch from The Simple Life. So make sure you check out her video below. She does a lot of cleaning videos and she's an, also a mama and just an all around amazing YouTuber. So make sure you check her out. So first I'm starting out with cleaning out my refrigerator because I know I'm going to make a huge mess with this so there's no point in cleaning until I'm done organizing everything. This big water jug that I'm moving stays in our fridge now at all times. We do have a water maker in our fridge and they recently tested the meter and the amount of stuff that was in our water was actually really gross. So I've been using the zero water and I'll talk more about that later in the vlog. Surprisingly, this was the only shelf that I had to take out of the fridge to scrub. Everything else wiped off easily. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and vacuum out our cheese drawer. Next you'll see here I have the Lemon Vitality by Young Living. These are the oils that I use now. I'm going to just go ahead and put a couple drops in cold water and soak my fruit in there. This just gets them extra clean and I feel like when you get your produce ready in the beginning of the week, it just makes sure they get used and it also makes the fridge look nice and organized. Next, we're moving on to what I call my baking cabinet. It's basically just a hot mess full of everything that I use to not really bake, but <laughs> make pancakes and easy boxed mixes. So first, I'm just going to wipe everything down up here. And then you'll see I add this Lazy Susan. I actually bought three of these from Bed Bath & Beyond. They were really inexpensive, and I'll have them linked below. But basically, they come in all different sizes. And this was the largest one that I got. And I'm just gonna put it right above in the baking drawer as my husband hands me all of the mixes that I'll be putting up here. And it just makes it look so much more organized and it's definitely easier to find stuff that you're looking for. I really love how that turned out and it just looks so nice. Now we're moving on to our spice drawer or spice cabinet and I just really hate it how that was looking and it wasn't very organized at all. So I'm not gonna lie, this took me forever to do, but I ordered these spice glass jars from Amazon and I put all of my spices in there. It did come with some labels, but they didn't have all the labels I needed so I wound up using my label maker for a couple of my spices. But I absolutely love how this turned out as well. It's definitely much easier to find what I'm looking for in here. And as you can see, it just looks very neat and tidy. And as you can see here, I got some smaller Lazy Susans and I just put all the other cooking supplies on them. Now we're moving on to my oven and I didn't get this sparkling clean however it does look much nicer than it did to begin with I am trying out this Gugon oven cleaner and I think it did a pretty decent job I went ahead and sprayed it down and then I let it sit for about 20 minutes 
it says you can let it sit for half an hour so maybe if I left it longer I could have maybe got some more stuff out but I just took the racks out and hand washed them while the oven cleaner is sitting I'm going to go ahead and clean out our little toaster drawer here um, I just keep my Nutribula, the bottle warmer, and our toaster in here, and it gets very dirty because we use the toaster every single day. This is the drawer beneath it, and as you can see, crumbs fall down here as well, so I'm going to vacuum this out. Now that this has been sitting for about 20 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and wipe it down, and you'll see that a lot of stuff did come out. Um, the towel basically turns black, but it's not as sparkling clean as I thought it was going to get as you'll see but like I said it's much better and I've never tried the self cleaner on my oven I don't know if any of you do that but let me know because I want to try it but I'm scared that's just gonna make my house smell like a fire <laughs> A lot better, but like I said, not super impressed by this. So this was one of my favorite things here was cleaning out my little drawer that I have for all of my dish towels, cleaning rags, and my drying mats. Basically, I just always throw everything in there. So I got these nice flexible bins as well as these labels from Aldi. And I wound up putting my dish towels and cleaning rags in them. And every time I open the drawer, it just makes me so happy. This was another simple update that made me really overly happy. This used to be black and Chris spray painted it rose gold for me. And I just love the way it looks. It just is like getting something new, but really just spray painting something old. And it just looks super fresh and clean. Now that all of the organization is done, I'm going to take everything off of my counters and just place it in the middle of the island. And I'm going to wipe down everything. Honest was nice enough to send me their Grapefruit Grove Multi-Surface Spray out to try. It did an amazing job. Um, the only thing that I'll say is that this is definitely for those of you that like a lighter scent. But as you know, Method Sea Salt and Lime and Method Grapefruit are my two favorite scents and their scents are much stronger than this scent. But like I said, it did an amazing job cleaning. This cleaner is an OG for me, as you know, and as you can see here, it's basically running out because I use it so often. But I'm just going to let that sit for a while and then wipe it off. And nothing gets my cooktop cleaner than the barkeeper's friend, so I need to get some more of that stat. Now I'm just going to use this Greenworks multi-surface cleaner and spray down all of my cabinetry. Um, I'm not doing the top of the cabinets, our top cabinets, because 
I usually clean those because they're at eye level and I see them better, but as I looked down at my cabinets, I saw a million little fingerprints and little splatters from cooking, so I just had to go ahead and wipe all of this down. Now I'm using the method steal for real and as many of you know that have been watching my cleaning videos I pretty much tried out every stainless steel cleaner and so far this is at the top of my list. You said the same. Next I'm just using my Nature's Promise glass cleaner. This was a purchase from Giant, one of the grocery stores that I shop at, I'm not sure. If any of you have a giant near you, if you do, let me know in the comments below because I really do love their brand of their natural cleaners. So it basically smells like mint with a tiny hint of vinegar. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clean all of the glass surfaces with this, including my glass cabinets. It was getting really warm out this day, so I went ahead and opened my windows and I noticed all this yucky stuff, so I cleaned that out as well. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and put everything back and I kind of mess around with where things are at and I don't really like how it looks, so then I put things back where they were in the first place. And basically I'm really excited for next week's cleaning video because it's a clean and decorate with me and I have a lot of things planned for that so make sure you're subscribed to this channel for weekly cleaning videos and that is just my young living essential oil diffuser and I put the purification oil in there because nothing smells cleaner than the purification smell even adding a little bit of a lemon to that smells amazing and it does actually clean the air as I was going to go put back this uh, bottle drying rack, it's like the little grass drying rack, I'll have it linked below, I always get questions on this. I realized I hadn't cleaned it in a while and you can see how gross it gets underneath of the grass, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean that as well. Everything is back in its place, so now I'm going to wipe down the island. And next, I'm just going to vacuum up all of the crumbs. I created way more crumbs than needed when I spilled spices all over the floor and just crumbs from organizing the cabinets. And last but not least, I'm going to steam mop my floors. I get a lot of questions on when I use my cedar mop, when I use my steam mop, and when I use my bona. And honestly, it just depends on my mood, but I never feel like the floors feel as great on my feet in the kitchen as when I use the steam mop. The steam mop just makes the floors feel amazing. And now it's dark out but you can see my kitchen is nice and sparkling clean and thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to check out Allie's video and if you're coming over from Allie's channel I would love to have you so please subscribe 
I would also love if you could comment below and let me know which cleaning videos you would like to see next.